NBA basketball, the best sport to bet on, is about to tip off for this season, and it's time to get ready for some sports betting. And I'm really excited. I built the best model I've done for sports betting. I feel very confident in that. I think it's going to be so user-friendly and allow you to be able to identify positive EV bets so quickly using trading sports predictions. Really appreciate everybody who commented and had some feedback on the NF NHL video I did. So this is going to be similar, but the model I built has even some more additional enhancement than the hockey one. And NBA basketball is where you need to focus if you're a sports better. It is uh, going to have so many matchups, high quality matchups, predictable matchups. It is uh, definitely the best place to focus for your sports betting because you're going to have opportunities night in and night out. And they're going to be high quality matchups. There's going to be sports books setting different lines. So there's going to be some mispricings where you can hit the lines on and hopefully make some money. So with that, I've got Dradings pulled up here, which again, I think is a great underutilized platform. It's 100% free and they've got basketball predictions and you can just toggle through here. You can see we've got the 22nd, the 23rd, and it's going to identify all the matchups, the win percentage, the best money line, best spread, points, total points, and the best over under. All key information if you're a positive EV better. And if you want to use their predictions, you need to be able to have all those data points to be able to see if there's an EV bet. And then with that, know how much to bet. And hopefully what I've built in Excel makes that so easy for you. And with the platform, you can see they have this bet value. And if you toggle over, you can actually drill into the matchup. It's going to have a rank. It's going to have your win percent, your projected points, the last five games, key injuries, money line trends and lines, spread trends. So you can see the trend is favoring Milwaukee on the base ratings, the bet trends, sharp lines. So we got line movement to support that. Over under is the same thing. So a lot of really great information. And this is all free. There's no paywall for me to access this stuff. So I um, highly encourage you to, to check out Dradings. And I'm just going to show you the Excel that I've got built. I'm going to clear it all out so you can just see how easy it is, is to update. Delete a couple of these inputted values here. All right, so there's all the data we have in there. And I'm just going to clear out the drop-ins. This is just a copy-paste. And you can see we've got a blank slate here, so there's nothing in there. I'm going to show you how quickly it is to update this model. So we go over here, copy in our slate of games, do a control C, do a control V, and we do a paste match destination value. And there we go. That brings in our money line, our spreads, our points, our difference, creates a spread value, and the same thing for totals. So there's no happen to, to mainly toggle what the matchups are. You get your, your date, your time, the matchup, and then all the relevant information. So I'm going to walk through each tab just so you see it. And if you're liking it so far, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. I'll give away this model for free to one or two people who make a comment. And I will, at the end of this week, I will send out a free copy to, to one of you. So definitely encourage you to interact with it. The NHL, a lot of people did that. I really appreciate that. Um, give me feedback too if you'd like to see some additional enhancements. But I'm just going to show you how to use it. So we've got all our data in, and now we can just do some line shopping. And we can go through Sportsbook Review. Again, 100% free resource, and I think it's the best free line shopping platform. We've got Wednesday Slate pulled up here. We've got our blue highlights, as are our Longest odds, those are where we should be focusing our sports betting. So knowing that, we don't have to think anything more than just keying in the numbers here. We're just going to type them in, and it's going to highlight in blue if it's a positive EV bet or not. So you don't have to kind of think through the logic of if the line's longer than the break-even value. You can just plug it in, and it's going to highlight for you. Is this an EV bet or not? And you can see I'm going through the entire Wednesday night slate here. Every EV bet, it's highlighting in blue for me to know I've got seven bets and you've got seven bets that you can place for 1023. We've got the Pacers, break even odds minus 239. We're getting minus 198 on FanDuel. The Nets, we've got plus 260 on Caesars. The Magic, plus 114 on FanDuel. Chicago Bulls, 
plus 250 on Caesars. The Jazz, plus 140 on Caesar. We've got Bet Rivers for the Suns at minus 186. And we got the Warriors, minus 210 at Bet MGM. So you can see we've got some underdogs and some favorites. So a nice blend. We've got our bet size over here, which represents percent of bankroll. And we've got our number of units too, if you like to look at it from that perspective. You can see we've got a massive line. We see the bulls at plus 175. We're getting plus 250. So you can see that's a big wager. If you want to haircut that a little bit, let's reduce that 1% down 5%. You can see that drops to about $50. So that's how you can use this adjustment column. If the results, and these are Drayden's predictions. So if you want to have a little bit of say in that, some objectivity, but if you want a good baseline to make your betting decisions on, I've added this adjustment column. But that's, that's how quickly you can go through money line and then on the spread tab this is where there's going to be some major time saving so a lot of the other models i have you key in this the spread and the line and then you've got to go determine if that could be a ev bet or not what i've done here is i've created this filter and it has a threshold of the difference between trading spread or the sportsbook base spread and if it's highlighted if it's greater than 1.5 it's going to highlight in green so you know okay i've got the nets and the bulls to probably cover that spread. And that's most likely going to be my two EV bets. So you don't have to line shop all this. You can hone it in. And then I got this adjustment here. If you really like the box and you think that needs to be adjusted, you can do that. So let's just go through here and look at our Nets Hawks game. So sports books, we've got plus eight and minus 110 on Caesars. So a big EV bet there. And then the Bulls, we've got them at 7.5 and minus 110 on bet 365. It's another EV bet there. You want to haircut this just a little bit, bring that spread down, maybe 0.5 or 1. The other way, you can see that it decreases our, our value. So that's spread. We've got two spread bets that are positive EV bets. And then go over the totals. We've got quite a few more. And it's the same concept. We've got a point total difference of three as our criteria. Bring it up to five. You can see it's going to unselect the Jazz and the Clippers on the under. So that's how to work it. We've got all unders as positive EV bets potential. We've got some big line differences here. So 225 is the sportsbook base for the, the Buck 76ers. The model saying 215. Again, you can tweak that, maybe bump that up five points, and then we can line shop off that. We got 225 and minus 110 on Caesars. So nice EV bet there. We've got the Rockets at two, minus 220 or 220 versus 232. So another nice EV bet. Let's see what we've got for lines there. I'm seeing 233.5 and minus 110. And this is what I was saying about great quality match. This is what makes NBA so, so great. You can see, look at these lines. 230, 230, 233.5. So obviously Caesars has a mispricing there. 235, 230.5, 231.5. There's just a lot of variability. We got 221, 223, 224, 225, 208, 210. So Caesars obviously is, has some stale lines out there. Um, 233.5, 234, 234. Just a lot of different opportunities with with NBA, 222.5, 223.5, 224, 225.5. So this is what I mean whenever there's a lot of good betting opportunities, there's a lot of certainty in NBA basketball, and each of these sports books is setting lines independently. So there's going to be opportunities for some positive EV bets. I plugged in the, the Trailblazers, and again, this is a massive bet here. This is saying almost 20%. 20% EV, 11% of your your bankroll. If you want to, if you want to haircut that, put six points back on the total. You can see that that decreases it. Still gives you exposure to that game. So that's how you could go about. You can be as aggressive or as conservative as you like. Again, we can add some points to that value. You can see if you add too many, it takes it to a not an EV bet anymore. So that's that's what's great about it. It's going to unhighlight, so you don't have to think, oh, I'm going to go to place this bet. Nope. Model's going to tell you it's not an EV bet. 
So there's the totals, the spreads. We've got some EV bets here for you to to place for opening couple days of NBA basketball. We got four totals. We've got two spreads, and we've got anything that's highlighted blue for the money line. So we got seven there. So you know a dozen bets in less than a couple minutes to go through the exercise, and you still have the flexibility to put some of your own personal objectivity into it, or if you know about some information that you don't feel like is accurately priced in the model, you have that flexibility. But having a nice subjective objective base before you put on your subjectivity, I think is is really key. And I also think that Dradings does a really good job of their prediction model. So that's it. If you if you comment, there's a chance you could get this for free. But if you uh, even if you don't comment and get the the free model, I'm going to give you know I have a link for this for purchase, so you can get working on positive view bets and hopefully making full use of the NBA season and making some money in sports betting. Uh, do appreciate feedback. Thank you for watching and God bless.